Before we go to SPSS, just to clarify, I just wanted to clarify the concepts of three important issues, linearity, homoscedasticity, and other correlation. So what is linearity? Linearity simply means that our regression can be expressed with this equation, y equals to constant plus parameter multiplied with the value of independent variable plus. Similarly, we can have multiple parameters for multiple independent variables and then the error term, okay? So here, y, is, y represents the dependent variable. This is constant. Then we have the parameter for x1, independent variable, and another parameter for another variable. So there, likewise, we can have many independent variables and many parameters, and this is our error term, okay? So this is how, if we can express some data, a model, a regression model like this, then we can call it linear regression model, okay? And how does it look like? It looks like this, okay? So let's say here we have some data, weekly sales in USD, which is our dependent variable, and then we have index of promotional activities, which is our independent variable. And these dots are the observed data, which we plot here, okay? These dots here. So these dots, as you can see the dots, right? So now let's say if we can draw a straight line like this, which fits the data very well, then actually we can say that there is a real linear relationship between the dependent variable and the independent variable. Okay, and in that case, actually, our model can be expressed some, by something like this, by equation like this. But w w when is it not linear, actually? Th that is when we will see that a curve line like this fits or like a curve line like this fits the data better, the observed data better. That actually, then actually we will see, that will actually mean that, that the model is nonlinear. It, the, the, the data can be explained better in a nonlinear model than a linear model. And how, what will change here actually? What will change here is that instead of only B, we will have something like B square or B cube or a square root of B, something like this, okay? So normally, when we have only b there in the coefficient, then what it means is that if for, let's say, if one unit increase of in promotional activities increases cells by 10, two unit increase will increase cells by 20. Two, three unit increase will increase cells by 30. So the value will be just multiplied with the unit, but the value remains the same. The parameter remains the same. But when we will have curved lines in those cases, when we'll have these curved lines, in those cases, the value will be multiplied. It will be like some, some multiplicative terms. Like for one unit increase, the value of y increases by two. For two unit increase, it increases by four. For three unit increase, it increases by 16. So something like that, you know? So that is non-linearity. So that's it.